Pshu! Boopity boo! Bang! Hello there, gaming fans! Welcome to my hideout! I am your host, The Horde! Back with another gameplay video for your entertainment! Today! And today! Today is Halloween and it is the end of our horror game extravaganza. It's not really an extravaganza. It's more like a horror game festival that has been held over four days. Which is good enough, isn't it? So we finally find ourselves coming face to face with the latest release from Emika Games. Now the last time I played one of their games was Summer of 68 and it was a frightening experience where I think I delivered my highest pitched squeal yet. So if you haven't seen those three, I suggest you head off and watch them after you've seen this one because this is the new one and this one is obviously going to be more scary, more exciting, more... Damn it, I've done it again. Why do I always pick a third thing? More amazing. So today we are playing Father's Day. Probably should have wore a more masculine mask. So yes, Father's Day on Halloween. It's a double celebration, but only one video. We will be playing as Phil, and our dream of living happily ever after is already shattered after the death of our wife and son. What a happy Father's Day this isn't going to be. Perfect then that it's on Halloween. Good old Phil, obsessed with the desire to bring them back to life, hatches a plan in his mental brain and decides the bathroom is the perfect place to undertake his experiment. Hoping to answer one question, how do I fix everything? Man, I don't think I've got enough video for that one. But let's see. Do not turn off my whole computer. Does that mean I could turn off half of it? Never tried that before. We'll give it a go. We'll try that at the end of the video. Go on, we'll speak American for today. New game! Okay, is that my house? I'm miles away from it. What the hell are you doing to me, man? Jesus Christ, how far is that door? I don't think I'm getting any closer. Oh my God, if I get there and the whole thing disappears, I'm not going to be very happy. I'm trying to get home. I want to get to bed. I want to lay my head down, man. It's been a hard day. I've been working hard on my experiments. Okay then. Looks like someone's here to welcome me in. What makes people go back to the past? Why can't they let him go and move on? Who's him? It's God. That's him. It can't be God, otherwise it would be a capitalized H. Correct. It's not God. It's Bert and Ernie. That would be them. Parental home. First date. Family picnic. Going to the city fair with a child. These are warm memories, but only if you are happy now. And if not, then these memories tear your soul apart and do not let go. You want to go back there and be happy again, but you can't. Suppose you've got a point there, man. When everyone's dead, all your happy memories just burn your soul. How to fix one fatal mistake that changed your world? Phil, you have to raise the dead. Is that what we're doing? We're a necromancer. Better than a necrophile. What happens if we bring her back from the dead? She's still technically dead. We've just cast a spell on her. She's undead. If we then have sex with her, are we then a necrophile? It's a question I don't want to be answered. Let's just have the answer to how to fix everything, please. Act one, the past cannot be changed. Free the future. Okay, have I got control? I've got control. What the fuck have I been doing in this sink? Hope it's not violent masturbating, otherwise my penis is gonna be in a right state. Uh, it doesn't look like I've been doing that many experiments in there, actually. I've just been, I don't know, doing something in the sink. All right, let's have a look around. This shoebox has caught my eye for no reason. Turn the radio on? Nope. It's a little bit wobbly, man. Whoa, it's a door. I wanna look around before I start opening fucking doors, man. Is there anything I can interact with? 1217, that's nice and bright. Get the feeling I need to pay attention to the time. The boy who disappeared six days ago was found by local residents. It was discovered in an abandoned hut outside the city, near the park. According to the boy, he was kidnapped by a man dressed as a clown when he was on holiday with his father. Shit. There is a maniac operating in our area who kidnaps children. I hope it's not me. Let's open the door then. Whoa, straight into my face. Oh, it's an empty closet. This was where I kept all my wife's coats. I've had to burn them all. Right, what else have we got in the house? It's a weird layout, man. What is that room around there? It must have been a bedroom. Maybe it was the child's bedroom. What? No, that doesn't make sense. There's a bathroom here. Yeah, he's got his own wing of the house. All right, fair enough. I'll accept that. No, that's the whole place. Well, where the fucking hell did the child sleep? There isn't even a bedroom in here. This doesn't make sense. I've got a bathroom. I've got a corridor. And I've got this room, which I thought was some kind of shit living room. Maybe after they died, I moved house. I don't know how long they've been dead. It's a good point. But I still haven't got a bed to sleep in. I don't need to sleep in a bed, man. I sleep in the bath where I do all my experiments. There's the exit. Fantastic. You want to turn the light out? Oh, it's a bell. Nobody's home. Damn. 
What's this shit? Missing child. The police are looking for the boy. He didn't come home from a walk. Name JJ. Age 10 years old. Height 51 inches. Don't care. Give a fuck about JJ, man. Is there anything else on here? Hello? Anything? No. Nothing. Can I bother you for a cup of sugar? Or some dog meat? Apparently not. What about you? Alright, I'll fucking leave you alone. Alright, alright. Jesus Christ. Fine, I'll leave you alone. I'm going out to kidnap children. No, I'm not. Not allowed. Fucking hell. Right, let's close the door. Got any post? I haven't got any fucking post box, man. What do you want me to do in here? So I've got some bloodstained clothes. There's lots of blood in the sink. I don't know what's happening. Pretty sure I'm a child kidnapper. Why do you always assume the worst? Because it's a scary game, man. It's best to assume the worst. And then if it turns out not to be true, we're okay. We got away with it. The time is ticking by. It's now 12.20. 21. Did it in front of my eyes. I've been playing four minutes. I don't know what the fuck I'm... Well, I've been playing longer than that, to be honest. It took me forever to get out of the fucking bathroom. I don't know what you want from me, man. Can I close this door? Let's close all the doors. Let's piss the dog off some more. I'm not allowed. I want to get out of here. There's nothing to do. I'm just going to smash my bell. Piss myself off. Locked myself in the hallway. Now let's see if I ring the bell if someone answers. I need a ghost to answer my door, please. Nope. Nobody's home. Just me. Whoa. Oh no, fuck out. I thought the light had gone out. Shut the door, didn't I? Okay, what do you want me to do, man? There's nothing, there's nothing for me to do. Oh, wait. I need to take my flashlight. Okay, right. Now can I see some things? Do I need to shine my light in a certain place? Let's see. Let's go shine in the light everywhere, man. Anything in these boxes? No. Maybe now I've got the flashlight, I can leave the place. Maybe I couldn't leave because I didn't have enough light. Okay, I didn't shut it this time. And now I can't open it. What's going on? Okay, I'm creeped out. Shit. Where's that door come from? Jesus Christ. It's taking a turn for the worst. There's no time to be distracted. You need to continue working on the project. What are you talking about, man? A door's just appeared out of fucking nowhere. I am distracted. I am going down. Oh, shit. Am I building a time machine? Fucking hell, fantastic. I have spent several years developing a time machine. I am almost close to completion. Fucking hell. I thought I was going to be a grave robber. Not a fucking super scientist. Let's go. Turn it on. Let's fucking roll. Slam. Does not work. There is not enough detail. Shit. Is that a flux capacitor? Fuck. Where's my flux capacitor, man? Oh, hang on. Let's go over to the computer. Maybe I need to design it. Nope. Not allowed. Way For my son. Let's open it. He's dead. He's not going to open it, is he? Come on. Let me open it. Bastard. Is there anything over here I can use? No. Do I have to look at the board? To do. Let's step into the time machine. Oh. Oh. It went weird when I did that. Come on. It does work. It does work. Look. It gets blurry when I walk in it. Do I need to go back upstairs? Something weird happened upstairs now? Let's have a look. Did I close that door? I've got to stop fucking around with the doors, man. I can't tell if I'm closing them, opening them, or what. Right, I've opened it, and I've closed it. Something's ringing. Shit, someone's at the door. Oh, it was my bell, wasn't it? It was my buzzer. Oh, I've got a box. Is this for the project? Is this the extra detail I was missing? Quick, close the door. We're so excited. We've got to run straight downstairs to the time machine and put the flux capacitor on it. And then we can go back in time and save our son and daughter not daughter, wife, uh, and stop abducting children. Maybe I used children to make the machine. Okay, yes, I brought it down here, and inside it is this. What's this? This isn't a flux capacitor, man. It's a bulb. You're a fucking bulb. I fixed it. Is that it? Is that all I need to do? One bulb? Fucking hell, I just needed a bulb. And now I've got a portal to God knows where. Let's go. It worked. Do I have to stand in it? Is it like the nether? Work, you bastard. Take me somewhere. Why isn't it working? Come on! I put the fucking bulb in, man. Work, you piece of shit! Fucking hellfire! Did it just teleport me somewhere? Have I time travelled? Check upstairs. Nope, the place still looks like a shithole. Uh, and it's still 1227. And nothing is different here. Cupboard's still the same? Yep. Around the corner still the same? Yep. Left the door open, didn't I? Let's get that fucker closed. Can't go back in the bathroom. Why not? Why have I fucking... Who the fuck was that? Shit, they've got a newspaper. Oh, and these have got a letter. Can I get it? I want to read what he's got. Man. I can read this. A child has disappeared! Oh, it's JJ. I already know about JJ. I don't give a fuck about JJ. We've already covered this, man. Maybe that was JJ. That was the spirit of JJ running into the door, delivering newspapers. JJ was a paper boy, and now he's lost forever. But his ghost still travels the night, delivering newspapers. The people who want you to just go away! How do I make this fucking time portal work, man? It's on! Fucking use it! 
My dear son will be together soon. Fucking hell. Look at that rabbit. It's enormous. Can I turn it off? Surely this is wasting a lot of electricity. We're in an energy crisis, you know. Don't know if this is climate friendly either. Fucking hell. All right, I'll go back and try and find the ghost child. Turn the light on. It'll keep me safe. Anything in the closet? Ghost child, are you in here? Delivering newspapers? I wonder if, with the clock ticking away like that, that certain things happen at certain times. Uh, because at the minute, I can't see anything else I can interact with. Even my fucking time machine. Come on, let me use it. Ugh, what happened? Fuck, it broke. Shit, all my filing cabinets have disappeared. Have I traveled back in time? Oh my god, I think it's worked. Shit! Oh my god, what's on this? Four or five, I don't fucking know. Blood, that's what it is. Oh my god, a demon baby with an upside down A. That's not very nice. Can I get out of here? The door's locked. To be honest, I think I'm better off staying in here. The fucking time machine's broken. Oh no. I'm electrocuting myself. Shit. Has that sent me back in time? Did I just need 1.21 gigawatts of electricity running through my body? Delivered by an electric shock? Act 2? They thought it was safer inside. Fucking hell. Henry? Am I someone new? It's 3.17 a.m. Henry, look around this house. There's a missing child in the park nearby. We need any leads. Now I'm Super Cop Henry. Didn't realize I got to be different people. Accepted. I'll do it. I'll fucking do it, man. Obviously, whoever lives in this house and is selling pumpkins at $2 a pop is a massive pedophile. There's some petrol. Fuck. Forgot my flashlight. Not a Super Cop after all. I'm a dipshit. Oh, let's go ring the fucking bell. Hello? Oh, it's a flashlight. Fine, it's my flashlight now. Let's try the door. Open the fucking door or I kick it in. It's the pigs. Come to the fucking door, man. Hello? Anyone in there? Oh, gosh. I can, I can kind of see inside. It's creepy. Let's go around the back. Wait, there's a trailer as well. Let's try it. Let's try the door. Not allowed. The trailer was a red herring. They got a back door? I wouldn't have thought so, man. It's, it's quite a small shed. They have. They have got a back door. Let's try this fucker. See if it's open. Oi! Said I'm coming in. Ready or not. What's that noise? This is an ordinary abandoned house. No one has lived here for a long time. I don't believe you, man. I think someone's living here. Okay, take a look around. Do you mean I can break in? Is that what you're telling me? Break into the house? It won't let me. I bet I'm going to get around the front and this fucking house is going to be wide open. Let's find out if you're... What the fuck? It's a big wheel. The big wheel's in the park nearby. Can we go there? I've checked this house. There's no one here but an owl, apparently. Let me into the big wheel. Or is the door open now? Shit, what the fuck are those things? Were they there before? Oh man, I was hoping I could peek through the windows. But I can't. They're dirty as shit. Do I have to head over to the park? Let's run. Let's have a quick last try of the door. Nope. Gotta give up on the shack, man. Not allowed in. Fucking hell. These guys have stopped me from leaving. What's this shit? Get out of the fucking way, mannequins. I want to get out of here. Bastards, they're not letting me leave. Something weird is happening here. Don't crouch. Fucking hell, get up. Come on, radio for support, man. There are fucking mannequins here. And it's all spooky. Do I have to go around the other side of the trailer? Whoa, I found a path. Where does this lead? Fucking hell. The toilet's all boarded up. Been condemned. Someone has shit in there so badly, they can never use it again. Okay, right, so this doesn't look as good. And this looks like someone is around here. This looks like some kind of sacrifice. What's going on? The last thing I can do is ask for your help. Help me get them back. Who the fuck has he written that to? Who's written it? Good question. Is this a note as well? It doesn't work out. I'm only making it worse. She came to me, but not the same as before. She's angry. I disturbed their peace. I need to fix everything. Fucking hell, Henry. What are you even doing? His name's Phil. Phil's the cursed bastard bringing people back to life using dark black magic. Dark black magic? Yeah, it's, it's blacker than usual black magic. Right, I get the feeling I'm going to have to go back now. I found these notes and something fucking horrible is going to happen to me. Be alert. Oh, I can hear something. Don't jump out of the toilet. It's a toilet monster. Something in there? Don't fucking do that, man. <gasps> the fucking shack's opened. I knew this would happen. Let's get in there. Don't crouch. Fucking hell. Someone's going to kick our head off. Right, what's going on in here? You fucking perverts. See, I knew someone was in here. The fan's going. And there's a fire. And there's someone upstairs. Let's go get them, Henry. Need to find a ladder to climb to the attic. Fucking hell, just jump. We can climb on this fucking fridge. We don't need a ladder. What the fuck has got eggs? We can have some eggs. And some pizza. We can have an eggy pizza. Yeah, that doesn't sound fucking disgusting. What's this? Matches? Mine. I don't need them. The fire's already going. I'm gonna need them in a bit, aren't I? Where's a fucking ladder? What's this? It's a rocking chair. Can we turn off this spooky music? I don't want to listen to it. Right, gotta go and find a fucking ladder then, am I? Because I'm not allowed to climb on the fridge. Oh, I saw one, actually. There's one by the side of this trailer. Here it is, look. 
Mine. Looks like I can burn the ropes. That's what the matches are for then, is it? Come on then, Henry. Gasoline as well? I've seen a gasoline holder. Where the fuck was it? Don't crouch. Did the mannequins have it? I've seen it somewhere. Oh, it was right by the front of the house, I remember. It drew me straight to it because it was bright red. There it is. See, I knew from the moment I looked at it, I could interact with it. Give, we've got the gasoline and we've got the matches. We can burn the rope and take the ladder. I mean, we need to be careful not to burn the ladder. How much gasoline are we going to use? Looks like it's made out of fucking wood. We're going to burn all the rope off and set fire to the wood. I've done it in a controlled manner. This is not my first rodeo. I have burnt off the string that I needed to. I am fine. Ugh, you fucking prick. What do you think you're fucking doing? Your fucking eyes will bleed and I'll poke the bastards out. Someone beat me to it, man. You're right. Let's go inside. Is the person still sitting upstairs? Are there any more scares in here? No. What's happening? Oh, the shadow's gone. There's no one in here now. I'm going to climb up there. He's going to steal my ladder and I'm going to be too bamboozled. Ugh, fucking hell. It is a creepy place. You're right, Henry. Let's punch it. Do I just have to read the paper? Oh, I don't know what's just happened. I wanted to read the paper. Something scary's happened around me. I and mean, now I don't want to put the paper down. The culprit in the accident on Highway 58 testified. I definitely saw that the girl ran out onto the road to pick up her toy. I wanted to get away from the collision. The culprit was intoxicated and does not remember what happened after the accident. Recall that as a result of the accident, a car caught fire. A woman and child could not get out of their car. Assuming that's uh, my wife and child. Oh fuck, the dolls vanished. The house is clean, there is no evidence. Man, right, first he said no one lived here. Now we've gone in, someone's clearly living here. There is a fucking fire roaring, and the fan's on, and the mannequin's following me around. Shit, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. And the doll that was in here has fucking vanished. Something's gonna happen to dear old Henry when he tries to walk out this door. Where's your other mannequin? I'm gonna fucking chop my head off. What? Stop. Fuck off. What? Quick, run, Henry. Shit, stand up. Run. Oh my god, I can't get round there. They blocked it off. The mannequins, they're ganging up on me. Fucking hell, there's one down there as well. They're everywhere. Is that a mannequin or is that a real person? <gasps> Shit, there's loads of them. Oh my god, they're leading me down here. I'm gonna be sacrificed. Are you real? This guy looks real. <laughs> fucking hell, he looks really dead. Someone's dragged him off into the woods. Do I have to follow him? I don't wanna follow him. Excuse me, guy! Where the fuck are you going? Do you want to get out of here? Uh, not that way. It's this way, into the woods. Oh shit, I found something! It's locked! What the hell's down here? It's gonna be missing children! Come on, Henry. Let's get ourselves down there. Let's see what's going on. It's... Police Sergeant Henry Anderson. He was sent to inspect the surroundings of the park. But during the operation, he stops contacting! That's because someone's fucking trapped him in this underground bunker in the middle of the woods. Shit, am I on act three? Your nightmare is reality. Fucking hell, I don't want reality anymore. Doesn't sound good. Oh, I'm back as Phil. I mean, you think he'd clean the fucking sink up. There was water running. Apparently the door to the bathroom is working again. What the fuck is this? Why are there candles everywhere, man? That is a fucking fire hazard. You've put them on a wooden floor. Putting them? Putting? That's not a word. Where's all my fucking pictures gone? Someone's been in here and stolen them while I was in the bathroom. And they moved my clock. Maybe this is a different day. Maybe this is back in time or something. Who the fucking hell is that? There's no way I know someone that old and creepy. Give me the torch. What's that say? Tom's frailty. I don't... Oh, fuck me. The door's open. Hey, this actually looks like a living area now. There's a t... Don't do any breathing, man. There's a living area. Closet's still empty. Man, the rail's gone. Only one coat hanger remains. I've got two TVs. Can I turn them on? Not at all. Can we open this door? Nope, it wants me to go outside. Oh, they didn't steal these fucking pictures. You should have done, man. They're fucking awful. Right, you want me outside, do you? What are you going to do to me out here? It's not going to be nice, is it? Why do you put the candles in the beer bottles? Why do you just leave them on the fucking wooden floor? And why are they out in the hall as well? Shit, what's happened here? Is that a knife? Fucking hell. Someone's knackered the notice board. Emma hasn't sorted her mail yet. Need to replace the envelopes. What? What are you talking about? Replace the envelopes? What do you got down here, man? Your brother, Jonathan. Take it. Fucking hell. My brother, is he? He is now. Emma, I'm so sorry. I want to help you find JJ, but I can also assure you that the boy was just playing with friends and didn't warn you. He'll be back soon. Your neighbour, Phil. Shit, I wrote this. She is the mother of JJ, the missing child. Well, that's interesting. Locked. Need a key. Can I take this knife? Why is there a fucking severed hand here, man? 
and a knife and a fucking obvious voodoo doll and a child with a saw. This is weird. Emma, do you want to come out here? I think you've got some fucking explaining to do. Why are the numbers on her door back to front? Get oh, out of God, my this house. is weird. Not in your house. I'm at the fucking door, you bitch. Come on, open it. All right, don't. Okay, so I'm in a world that's now back to front. Let's close the door. We don't want anyone coming in. Oh, great, the bathroom's vanished. Didn't see that fucking... It's now 11.30, I've gone... Have I gone? Whoa! Who the fuck do you think you are, man? You in my closet? Oh my god, the closet's turned into a fucking massive corridor. And the front room's changed. Fuck me, what's happening? This experiment's gone wild, man. Where are you taking me? Hello? This reminds me a little bit of PT. What the fuck are these things? Is that a hairless mouse? Fucking hell. Don't turn the light out, man. Turn the fucking light on and keep it on. Why are there loads of dead mice, weird pictures from the 1800s, and fucking bugs all over the place? And screaming. Oh, great. This looks like the knife from the corridor. And this looks like the book and the doll from. What's this? Need to find the missing part. What is this, a bear? Need to find a bear. It's not fallen under the table, has it? Whoa, there is a bear under here. And a creepy fucking doll. Right, I'm going to go back because something horrible is going to happen. Right, I'm looking for a bear. Can't I just squeeze one of these... I was going to say, can't I squeeze one of these mice into the hole, but the mice have all vanished. Turn the light on. Give me a static. Can some fucker turn my TV on? Yep. Fucking hell, fireman. I have to pay the bills in this place, you know. Okay, I've got a lighter. We, the unwilling, trained by the unskilled, to do the impossible for the ungrateful. A nice message. It's time to light the candles. They're already fucking lit. What are you talking about? Whoa, where's this come from? Open two times. Okay, that's one. Two. So that's how I get back to the freakiest shit corridor. I'm still looking for the figurine, man. Does my bathroom come back? Nope. What candles do you want me to light? Were there any outside? Well, I'm not allowed outside. Son of a bitch. Right, let's run back down to where we need the figurine that I haven't found and see if it will accept a lighter instead. What candles do you want me to light, man? I didn't see any that were out. What about this one? Yes. Okay, these. Okay, how many are there? That's three. Is that all of them? I don't see any more, man. Is there any around the corner? Nope, they're already lit. Do I just have to go back now I've lit the candles? Oh no, there's a fourth one. And blind. Okay, I've lit them. Nothing's happened. Wait, I can touch this one. And behind it is a safe. What's in the safe? It's a key. Shit, what's locked? Uh, I have no idea. I can take the candle as well. Nope, I've blown the candle out. Shit, light it. What's the key for, man? I haven't seen anything that's locked. Hello? Maybe the key's for the front door. Have I got an inventory? Shit, someone stole my TV and replaced it with books. I don't want books. I don't like reading. What's this? I'll read it. I remember that day in the park. You wanted to go to the rides, but we agreed to do it after the picnic. You wanted to do it before the picnic, just in case the rides make him throw up. Whose skull is this? My shit, it's a Ouija board. The item is missing. God damn it, where is it? Fucking hell, I found something else. What have I found? I want to come back to you. My thoughts won't let me go. Fucking God, I'll let you go. Whoa, who's this? You're not my child. I've got a son. Hello there, little girl. Fucking hell, there's a demon behind you. Oh, got her. She's dead. Whoa, what the fuck's this writing that's appeared everywhere? Oh, that's what the key's for, this box. Is it the Ouija board piece? No, it's the bear for... Ugh. Whoa, what the fuck's happening there? Oh, it just fell over. Whoa, I've got a box. This has been a new delivery. It's a scary book. Take the fucking book. It's mine. I've been delivered to... Oh, no, wait. It's the piece of the time machine. I don't even have the time machine room anymore. Maybe it's appeared now that I've got this. That's it, box. Get out the fucking way. You stand up. I can't get back in the fucking house. I need to. Maybe if I ring the bell. Answer the fucking door. Thank you. Oh my god, the mannequins have found where I live. And they've hung shit everywhere. <laughs> fucking hell, fireman. They're watching me. Voices in my head. They drive me crazy. He's already here. Horror. It is a horror. Oh, it's midnight. Fantastic. Let's get on with business. We've got a bear. You've got a bad neck. Fucking hell. Now they've stolen my books and replaced them with creepy dolls and this fucking straw figure. Jesus Christ. Well, you guys are horrible. Why don't you fuck off? Okay, right, so now we're gonna go down, use the little bear figurine. What's this? Someone's entrails. Stop dragging entrails around my fucking house. Look at the mess you've made. You better mop that up, you dirty bastards. 
Hello around here. Right, put the bear figurine in. Hopefully this gives me the Ouija board part, and then we can go back to the Ouija board. It has. Okay, let's go back. Oh, someone's around the corner. Is it the mannequin with the fucked up neck? There's something wrong with their neck. Oi, wobbly nuts. God damn it, how am I supposed to get out of here if you keep doing shit like this to me? Oh, my wife. We burn it? Fuck, how do I get out of here, man? Hello? Someone's stolen my way out. Can somebody help me, please? Oh, great. Hell, I thought this was the time machine room. Oh, my God, I haven't got a code. I don't know the code. All right, let's go see if there's something up here. I need a four-digit code, man. Don't fuck with me. Oh, okay. Maybe, then, I'm going to get the code from the Ouija board. Yep, you're an excellent hide-and-seeker. Let's play. One. Four. Zero. Eight. Shit. Broke its neck. One, four, zero, eight. Don't you just go straight back and try it? Is there anything around the corner? Whoa, not allowed out. Don't look. I won't. One, four, zero, eight. It's either going to be one, four, zero, eight or eight, zero, four, one. Because everything's back to front in this fucking weird environment. Let's go find out. Anyone else around the corner? Oh, no, that one's gone. There is some blood coming out of a bin bag. It's probably a severed head. One, four, zero, eight. Pow. Oh, no, it is. We're in. It's the time machine room. It's a little bit different to how I remember it. A little bit spookier. Got more of an atmosphere about it. Okay, I've got my bulb. Let's fix it. Where's the fucking plug socket? Oh, there it is. Fantastic. Let's get out of here. There is no lever. Shit. Excuse me, fella. You haven't got a lever, have you? Can I use your hands? Can I fashion one out of bone? What's this? Oh, fuck me. I need another key. I'm assuming, then, that the lever is in that box. Let's go and try and find it. Can't go through that door. I'm assuming I've got to go back to the fucking house of hell. Let's have a look. Anyone around the corner? No. Right, I'm looking for a key. Maybe it's been delivered to the door. Let's go check it out. Maybe the mannequin's got one. Yep, she's vanished. Fuck knows where. She better not have taken the key. I need that. Right, doesn't look like there's anything in there. Let's head. What's this? Whoa! Behind here? Fantastic! Thank you very much, Mr. Mannequin. You're clearly my friend. You wanted to help me out. I appreciate your support. Let's get Time Machines out of this fucking place before it takes my life. Because I'm sure it's only a matter of time. This place is freaky as fuck. But I'm glad to find that nothing's changed and I can still get straight back here. I don't want to check if the figure's done anything weird behind me. Come on, have a lever. Yes! We are out of here, are we? Yes, we are. Fucking fix this. Turn it on. Get me the fuck out. Woohoo! I'm back, baby! And I wish I wasn't! I want to hear the truth. Am I speaking to God? Act 4. The Golden Egg. The Golden Egg is a virtual world created from the memories and actions of a certain person. And we also analyse what he is afraid of in order to use it in the future. The next stage is putting a person's mind into a virtual world. So he thinks that everything he sees around him is real. Then we connect to the consciousness of a person and try to find out what secrets he keeps. In our egg, we have created a space for a maniac so that he will not be able to distinguish reality from the virtual world and will think that this is his life. While he is distracted, our task is to dig into his memories of this case. To do this, we will connect a person who will explore his world and record evidence for us together with the district police we are launching the system what the fucking hell are you talking about take your golden egg and fuck off away from me whoa i'm in the office and it's 9 18 a.m and it's very fucking different all of a sudden communication with henry has been interrupted he no longer gets in touch well that's not so great for dear old henry and if you want to find out if he does get back in touch you're gonna have to come back to part two of father's day which i will record and release very shortly wow another scary atmospheric tense disturbing nightmare of a game that has been a terrifying journey so far and like all good experiences on halloween we have left it open for the return obviously we have because I didn't complete the game, we have to come back. So you know there are more scares ahead. For now though, that is the end of the video and the Halloween extravaganza. All that is left to say today is, thank you for watching the video. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Please take care of yourselves out there and I will see you next time. Goodbye.